here today with Seamus McDonnell, and uh, one of the more important parts of the roles of an installer is to be out on the road and to uh, head to jobs where he has to do the uh, installation work. But before the job gets started and before the installer leaves Protelic, there has to be an inspection of a vehicle, of every vehicle on the lot. And so Seamus is going to walk us through very quickly uh, at a high level how he goes through his daily vehicle inspection. Seamus? Thank you, Aaron. Uh, so basically, like Aaron was saying, um, the main point of a vehicle inspection is to ensure the safety of the occupant that's going to be in the vehicle. It's going to highlight uh, the basic features of the vehicle and make sure that they're in proper working order to make sure that your safety is upheld. Another part of that is ensuring that the company asset of the vehicle is in good shape. So the first thing you do on a vehicle inspection is you take a walk around, you check the body of the vehicle, make sure there's no signs of damage, there's no uh, knocks to the vehicles, no scratches or anything like that. While you're doing that as well, you're going to be checking your uh, windows and your mirrors, make sure that they're in functioning order, make sure there's no cracks in them, there's no chips, uh, they're clean. You want to make sure that the mirrors have no scratches on them as well and that they're functioning as well. You want to do a check on your tires, your inflation level, as well as the tread depth on it. We do have um, depth gauges that are check the tires on them, but an easy way to do it is just with a quarter. You take a Canadian quarter, and the caribou facing towards you, you put it face down into the tread. And as long as you can't see the nose of the caribou, you're good, which is basically about 432 of an inch. While you're doing your walk around, you also want to check underneath the vehicle for any leaks um, yep. of fluid or anything like that. We do have a guide that'll tell you what is going to be leaking out of your vehicle if you don't know. Uh, based on the color of it, you just want to check it out to make sure that there's no leaks in the vehicle. Um, in the vehicle, when you get in, you're going to have to record the odometer reading on it. So the reason that we want to check the odometer reading on a vehicle is that vehicles have uh, a standard level of service that we have to do. Uh, so if you check the odometer reading on the vehicle and record that, what that's going to tell us is going to tell us what the, um, what the service level of the vehicle is going to be. While we're in here, we want to make sure that we're checking our seat belts. So the easiest way to check a seat belt is to hook it up yourself, give it a quick tug, and if it stops, you're good to go. While you're in here as well, you want to check the brakes of your vehicle. Your vehicle brakes should not be spongy. They should actually catch fairly quickly. And that'll give you a good gauge of whether or not the, the brakes are working properly. Um, you're also going to want to check all of your signal lights. It's a little easier to do this when there's somebody else doing the, the in the vehicle. So I'll get Taj to come over here. So Taj, what I want you to do is you can, uh, you can leave the door open and just hop in. I'll tell you what I need you to check. So what, uh, what I want Taj to check is the headlights. So he wants to check to make sure the headlights are working and you check your low and high beams as well. And you're also gonna be checking the blinkers or, or the turn signals on your vehicle. So if you wanna check your turn signals, no, check, check your turn signal, right? So there's your, you know, your turn signal. Okay, so then what you wanna do as well is you wanna check your brake lights as well on the vehicle. So you come back, and Taj, if you want to check your brakes, so you want to check that all three are working on the vehicle. Same thing with your turn signals as well. So that's basically a quick overview of what you do to check the vehicle to make sure it's in safe working order before your vehicle leaves the lot. You want to do all of this prior to moving the vehicle. And that's pretty much it. Everything is recorded on here on a weekly basis so we can keep track of everything to make sure that all the vehicles are, are in good standings and in good shape. Uh, that's gonna allow us to make sure that the service of the vehicle is done properly and make sure that any issues that come up are not gonna be coming major issues down the road.